Harold. Harold. He's, he's an angel like me. He's wearing something similar to me, of course. He's tall, dark, kind of handsome, if you ask me. I can't find Harold. What? What is this over here? Yeah. Is this him? Harold. 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 Yeah. Wake up, Harold. Who goes there? Yes, Hark is who goes there. It's me, Hark. Harold, wake up. Where, where am I? What, what time is it? Who, who am I? Harold. You're Harold. You know, an angel of the Lord, a messenger of God. Yes, okay. Come on, Harold, wake up. I was... I was just resting my, my eyelids a bit, that's all, that's all. Yeah, Harold, you've been sleeping, and I've been looking all over for you. You missed it, Harold. You slept through it. Wait, 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 wait. I missed it? It? I closed my eyes for a second, and I missed it. Yes, Harold, you missed it. It. I tried messaging you on Angel Messenger a hundred times. This old thing, I went for the wing features. They're useless. I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. I need your. Ooh, that's got the halo. That's got the halo screen. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, I'm not gonna get an upgrade anytime soon. Missing tonight. See, tonight is the night we angels have been rehearsing for for 500 years, and I can't believe I missed it. How could there be Hark without Harold? I know. I really missed my wingman. Well, who was there? Tell me. Tell me all about it. I think everyone was there. Everyone except me. Yeah, Michael, all the archangels, Gabriel, the entire seraphim, and the cherubim. Even the angels from the realms of glory were there, Harold. The whole heavenly multitude was praising God, and I missed it. Oh, I can't believe it. <sighs> I can't believe you slept through all the commotion. I mean, here. Tell me everything about it. What did I miss? I want to know every single detail. I've been looking forward to this night for so, so long. Tell me about it, Hart. Tell me everything. I got to know. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Picture this. Okay. It's a really quiet night. No wonder you fell asleep. But then, all of us angels got an alert on Messenger that Mary had arrived in Bethlehem with Joseph and the baby was ready to be born. Okay, so she arrived safely. I was really worried about her on that donkey. She made it all the way with Joseph from Nazareth. Okay, good. So far, everything was according to plan. What happened yeah. next? Okay, so then you know, they traveled there to Bethlehem mm -hmm. for the census, you mm -hmm. know, so everyone could yep. be counted. But everybody else was going there too. The hotels, the inns, everything, Harold, was jam-packed. Mary and Joseph couldn't find a place to stay. It was an innkeeper who said, you can stay in my stable. Can you believe it, Harold? Stable? You mean the place where animals eat and drink? A stable? Yeah, a stable. Wow, amazing. God chose to have his son Jesus born in a stable. Mm -hmm. So Mary even made a cradle out of the manger in the stable. You know the place where animals eat from? She put baby Jesus there in that manger. Wow, incredible. Well, what happened next? Harold, we've been practicing this next part for centuries. You know the next part. Yes, I as do. As soon as the newborn baby king is born, then we angels have a job to do. So, we went to the hills outside of town to find the shepherds, Harold. Tell me, how did they react when they saw us you angels there. You know, surprise. Totally stunned and amazed. You should have seen their faces. You know how humans get whenever we show up. They drop their jaws, they stutter. Well, that's what I've heard. I've, I've actually, 
I, I've actually never, I've actually never been sent to humans before. Aw, oh, Harold, you mean this was your chance to interact with humans and you slept through it? Yeah, I know. Just, just keep going. Okay, all right, so then we're at the shepherds and I tell them, I say, do not be afraid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Michael, Gabriel, all the archangels are there. And you got to be the one, the first one to speak to tell. Wow, you were the first one to speak. It was a divine moment. The first proclamation that Jesus was born. I don't know how else to describe it. Proclamtastic. Oh, Harold. Well, this is what I proclaimed. Oh, the, wow. So the shepherds are all there, and I say to them, <clears throat> I say, <clears throat> excuse me, I say, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Wow, the first Noel the angels did say to certain poor shepherds. Mm -hmm. And you said it. But the best part, the best part is still coming, right? Yeah, Harold. Then we all took our places in the sky. We filled it, Harold, the whole sky filled with angels. And we began singing glory to God in the highest and peace He's among those whom he favors. You know it. Wow, the sweet singing over the plains must have just been glorious. It was. The mountains were echoing their joyous strains. Well, well what happened then? Well, then the shepherds took off for Bethlehem to see the baby. I've never seen humans run so fast. So they got to see the newborn Jesus that very night? Mm -hmm, they sure did. And they didn't even stop there, Harold. After they saw the baby, they started telling just about everyone in Bethlehem wow. about his birth, that the Son of God was born. It was amazing. So God must have been so pleased that the angels were messengers to the shepherds, and then the shepherds were messengers to the people of Bethlehem. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, Harold. I guess the shepherds did the work of us angels tonight, too. They were messengers for God. I am outdone by even shepherds tonight. Hark, hark, what am I going to do? I mean, I missed the biggest night for us angels in centuries. It's got to be the biggest night since the creation of the world. And I missed it. What am I going to do? <sighs> oh, Harold, I just got a message on Angel Messenger. Did you get it? Yeah, of course, now it works. Let me see what it says. Hold on, let me open it. It's from, it's from Gabriel. It says... Great job tonight, angels. I am AAO. I am AAO. In my archangel opinion, Harold. Come on, get with the times. Okay. Hey, we have another message. Okay, okay, it's from Gabriel again. God declares the wonder of tonight will be celebrated forever. Every year on this night, people will celebrate Jesus' birth by singing the songs of the angels. Harold. You know what this means? It means that every year on this night, humans will be like angels. They will celebrate the birth of Jesus. They will sing. They will rejoice. They'll be messengers telling everybody the good news. Harold, every year the people will be able to sing glory to God in the highest, just like us. They can sing and praise God for the birth of Jesus. They'll be telling people about it too. Hold on, though. Hold on. If, if the humans can be like angels and rejoice and tell everybody about the good news, well, what's that leave us angels? What do we have then? Look, Harold, another message from Gabriel. Okay. It says here, when the humans sing songs about Jesus' birth, God instructs us angels to join them in singing. This means we angels can join the humans every year in singing God's praises. I know they can't usually hear us up, up in heaven, but I hope they know we're going to be singing with them. Wow, so God wants all of creation, humans, angels, hills and mountains, everybody to rejoice and proclaim the birth of his son, Jesus Christ, every year. It means it doesn't matter if you were actually there, Harold. It doesn't matter if you were there on the night he was born. Wow, that is good news of great joy for me. Even though I wasn't there the night of Jesus' birth, God has invited me, 
Poor Harold into the singing, into the rejoicing, into the joy of telling everyone the good news of Jesus' birth. Yeah, this is great for you, Harold. Well, it's good news for so many people, too. I mean, really, only a handful of people were there tonight. But now, millions of people, like everyone into the future, will be able to still join. They'll be able to sing, too. So for Jesus' birthday, God wants the whole world to become an angel choir. And so that means the people in the future, 100, 500, 2014 years from now, will be able to hear about the news of the angels and sing with us and tell everyone the birth of Jesus Christ. See, Harold, we should have known that God would have a place for everyone on this night. Mm -hmm. Whether you were there at the stable or not, God wants us all to be a part of proclaiming Christ's birth. I have a funny thought, Hark. Imagine thousands of people singing about you, Hark, proclaiming the glories of the newborn king and peace on earth and mercy mild. Well, I hope they don't sing about Hark without singing about Harold, too. I mean, we sure are a dynamic duo. I'll say that. Hey, do you get the message? Oh, I do. I have another message from Gabriel. It says, P.S. Does anyone know where Harold is? Well, I guess I better face the music and talk to Gabriel. You know, I'll go with you. I really got to get a new messenger. And when I get a new messenger, I have an idea for a new sing tone. Okay, it will go bum 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 bum. You like that? Um, it's all right. Give it another 17, 18 centuries. It might catch on. Okay, good. It might. Good. 